Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. This is another one of our beginner beekeeping series. Uh, we are beginning beekeepers. We're documenting our first years of beekeeping here. It is April here in Connecticut and it is time to feed sugar to the beehives that have made it through the winter. Uh, this hive has come through the winter. It's about 50 degrees. It's kind of a warm day, breezy, but we're gonna open up the hive here and we're gonna use uh, sugar water in zipper plastic food bags to feed this hive. There's different ways to feed your hive. I'm gonna show you how to use it with these zipper plastic bags, all right? So, have your gear on. You know, they are bees, uh, but these guys look pretty healthy. They're buzzing around, they're flying, and uh, it's just great to see they've got through the winter. Okay, here we go. You can see here where they've eaten almost all of the sugar patty that we put on there, the sugar cake, and also our protein patty here. So I'm gonna lift up the sugar cake and take it off. And then I'm gonna remove this cone that they're building. They're not gonna like this. I'm gonna try and smoke them down a little bit. I don't use a lot of smoke, I don't like it. These are one gallon plastic zipper bags, food grade plastic. Make sure these are sealed. So now I'm gonna take a very sharp knife and just make little pricks in here. You don't want it so it runs all over the hive, that's a bad thing. But if you see, they're already sucking it up right here. Just gently close this. Try and get them out of the way. So our inner covers are winter insulated inner covers that I custom built that have a gap in them, a space for the sugar patty. And I took the sugar patty out, the sugar cake out, um, and I put the sugar bags in, the liquid sugar in. If you don't have that kind of inner cover, you should get a spacer. Uh, you can build this or you can buy these, they're called shims or spacers. And so you can put the baggies in and then when you put the top on it won't crush the baggies or the bees. The spacer allows space for the plastic bag of sugar water to sit there. So you can make these or you can buy these or you could make insulated inner covers like I did. Uh, again, on Garden Fork, you can find out how to do that. On the site, there's links below here for all that information. I think this is testament to the uh, sugar cakes that we make that we put in the hive every fall. 
Uh, they feed the bees and they also absorb condensation in the hive when worked in conjunction with the uh, insulated inner covers that we've built. Um, and we made the inner covers inspired by Philippe of mudsongs.org. He's got a really great beekeeping blog there. So there you go. In the fall, sugar cakes. In the spring, sugar water. And I like the baggy method. There's a lot less drowning that way. Uh, there's other ways, which we talk about in our other videos, about feeding your bees sugar water with these sugar feeders. But I always get bees that are drowned at those. And this way with the baggies, they just kind of crawl on, they eat up the sugar water, and they don't drown. So different method for different people, okay? If you like what you're seeing here, you want to hit the subscribe button. We put out videos every week about DIY, cooking, gardening, and fun stuff like beekeeping. And please don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. And any questions or comments, leave them below here. Oh, links for the email newsletter in the section below here and at the end of the show here. Okay, go out and do cool stuff. Come back and tell me about it. I'll see you.